you, you talk about being holy. What does that mean? So in Judaism, for example, it has a very concrete uh, definition. It's a matter of separation. So recognizing the separation from the Sabbath and the other days of the week, re recognizing the separation from the, the mundane and the set aside, sanctified uh, holy days, r recognizing a difference between kosher and non-kosher, between Jews and non-Jews, between male and female, between adults and children. So it's recognition of these important uh, distinctions that constitutes being holy. For, for you, okay. being holy means what? Uh, when I would, uh, let me answer it this way. When was the last time Luke felt transcendence and metaphorically left this mortal coal, uh, coil, you know, kind of the soul soar with the gods and stars and the eagles? Like, even if you're not interested in the glory of the inner light, uh, uh, the value of transcendence shouldn't be undersold. Like, like when I'm hearing Bruce Hornsby, his fingertips are tickling those ivories on certain songs I can be transcended. I can be like moved to tears. I can see like William Blake, see the universe in a grain of sand. The same effect would, would come. Maybe I couldn't do it three times in a row listening to say a Dar Dolly Parton song like Coat of Many Colors, but it would happen the first time. So uh, when I say, you know, when I say s sacrament, I'm talking about that's the way I get closer to God.